and we're back for another episode. In this episode, we're going to be doing the level 60 blacksmith quest introduced in Stormblood. And as always, hello from Mifri. So we are here in the blacksmith guild in um, Upper Lenosia at, at 1014. So let's talk to the guildmaster. So the quest is called A Missive from the Far East. Fordmaster uh, Briffiel eyes glisten with glee. So, Mifri, ain't today shaping up to be a mighty fine day? First I get a promising letter from a potential recruit from the Far East, and not long after, you show up. Um, ah, I know, I couldn't believe it myself when I learned that someone from beyond the Five Seas wanted to take up an apprenticeship at our humble establishment. But, sure as day, that's what it says on this here paper. So Forge Matcher Briffiel, I am writing to you today to express my desire to learn more about your guild and the blacksmithing techniques you employ. I am currently preparing to depart for Limsa Liminza and should be arriving shortly after this reaches you. Uh, on second thought, perhaps promising wasn't the right word. He didn't expressly state he's looking to join or even give us a name uh, for that matter. Well, at least they're enthusiastic, bugger, which is a lot more than can be said about half me crew at the moment. We've been a bit short-handed, so everyone's been working from sun up to sundown. They're dead on their feet, Mifri. That's why I'll be sending you to escort our mysterious new recruit back here. I know, I know, the letter ain't much to go on. I reckon if you snoop about the docks for long enough, though, you'll come across our friend sooner or later. Okay, so we have to find the new recruit at the ferry docks so let's see if we can find him so quickest way to get there is probably to just teleport to the what's it called to the fisherman's guild there you go so let's see right so let's talk to this person So, madam, madam, please, by the look of it, you are from the blacksmith guild. You've been sent to collect me, have you not? You know this girl? She's been stirring up a great deal of trouble, and I'm of a half mind to take her into custody for attempted assault. Earlier, this man accosted her when she stepped off the boat. Rather than telling her to bugger off or approach a nearby officer for help, however, she responded by pulling out a sword and slashing wildly at him. Luckily, I was close enough to intervene and prevent anyone from coming to harm. I've been questioning them since, but I haven't been able to get a peep out of the girl, and this fool beside her won't stop spouting lies. You stopped me without just cause and refused to let me go even after I explained I have somewhere I need to be. There was nothing left for me to say, at least of all to a churl like you. Churl? Listen here, young lady. While that may be a suitable world to describe this ruffian, I am no such thing. I am a yellow jacket, keeper of peace and defender of Linza Laminza. Firstly, I ne I'm nearly stabbed, and now you uh, disservice me with your ugly words. All I did was shower a pretty girl with compliments. That hardly warrants this abuse. That's all you did, is it now? Perhaps next time you should use your mouth to do some of that complimenting instead of your hands. If there is a next time, that is. Truth be told, the only reason I was even here to save your sorry ass was because I came to issue you with a warning. We received a flood of complaints regarding your unscrupulous behavior. I, uh, well, she tried to kill me. So, well, I'll turn the girl and her sword over, over to you. I ask that you keep this thing well out of her reach. She may have had her reasons, but I will not tolerate a repeat of this incident. Are we clear? So, that is simply a blade I keep on hand for self-defense. It is a rubbish weapon, really. You can keep it. I will, however, have you know that 
that is no ordinary sword, rather it is a katana, the traditional weapon of the Far East. Uh, no, wait, I have an even better idea. You can present my katana to Forge Master Briffiel. Uh, while by no means one of my better creations, it should prove sufficient to demonstrate my skill to him. Now then, let us not waste any more time. Please lead the way to the blacksmith skill. So a katana wrought by her own hand seems she is a blacksmith of exceptional skill. She claims to it's rubbish, but that's a finer weapon than any I've ever wielded. For all her talent, though, that girl's going to be a handful. Briffiel is in charge over at the blacksmith guild, isn't he? My sincerest sympathies to him. So let's go back to the blacksmith guild. So let's see, let's just go to the aft castle and run from there. Gotta love SSDs. Like loading time is so much quicker than PlayStation. Not that it's bad on PlayStation, it's just so much better on an SSD. Okay, let's talk to him. So, I didn't manage to f find him, did you? Was a bit of a long shot to begin with, I suppose. You have something you want to show me? Okay, let's hand over the unadorned katana. It says, a katana of self-defense forged by a strong-willed Far Eastern girl you encountered at the Limson Ferry Docks. Cool. So Katana is certainly of a fine make. I'd say it's right up there with some of the stuff me better smitties can pound out. Where'd it come from? So from my personal collection, of course. Apologies, I lost sight of Mifri on our way here. Please allow me to introduce myself. I am Seeker, aspiring swordsmith from Kugane. Forge Master Briffiel, it is an honor to finally meet you in person. As stated in my letter, I have come to Eorzea that I might be placed under your tutelage. Not to be rude or anything, but uh, you say you're looking to become a swordsmith? Why come all this way? Surely there are places where you're uh, from better suited to honing your talents. A certain someone has banned me from taking up the hammer at any um, of the local forges. While I am certain he thought doing so would deal a crushing blow to my career, it is only served to strengthen my resolve. So you're looking to join the, our guild then? Not quite. I would like to simply to study here. I believe learning the techniques you employ and applying them to Minecraft will allow me to expand my repertoire and evolve as a swordsmith. Alas, you can't simply waltz in here, take all our secrets and then waltz right back out without giving us something in return. Uh, but sir, you must understand, I simply cannot become a permanent member of your guild. Please, please, can you make an exception just this once? I did not travel the high seas to leave here empty-handed. Surely there must be a way. You're not making this easy. Um, I suppose we could make a trade of sorts, where uh, you share your smithing techniques with us in exchange for your studying here. Yes, I'd be more than happy to agree to that. Uh, now that that is settled, I shall be taking my leave to search for accommodation. Forge Master Briffiel, Mifri, until we meet again. Well, that wasn't. Sorry. Well, wasn't she something? Yes. So, starting up trouble right off the boat, eh? Why is it that I'm stuck by a sudden urge to take a trip to the wench and drown myself in ale? Ah, uh, but mayhap she won't be so bad. She simply got off on the wrong foot, is all. Or at least so I hope. I mean, it wasn't exactly her fault. So, 
So the next maximum spell will be available from Briffio upon reaching level 63. The requirements for undertaking subsequent quests can be reviewed in your journal. Cool. And obviously we'll do that in a different um, episode. So anyway guys, that's it for this episode. Thank you for watching and as always, goodbye from me and goodbye from Mifri. Bye guys.